Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I am finally, finally, gonna show you inside that elusive beauty room of mine. So yes, I originally started this video two years ago. I'll insert the footage shortly. Um, two years, almost three years ago actually. And then we went to just make a start on the beauty room and then basically we found out that our, more or less the entire house needed damp proofing and things. So the beauty room got put seriously on hold, all on the back burner. And then finally last year we managed to finish it. It's still not 100% as I would 100% like it, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, now I'm going to show you a clip of the bits and bobs I filmed as when I was going to start doing like a blog about it. Um, there's a little bit of footage so you can take a look at a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff first. Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. We're in the beauty room today. I'm starting a vlog. Um, showing you guys round now and then I'm going to vlog the process of kind of renovating it if that's the word, um, into what will be my beauty room, which will eventually end up where I actually film all my videos, hopefully, if things look nice. So I'm gonna show you around it now. Basically, it's the room in which we've kind of, well, we've been calling it the crap room. It's basically where everything goes that we don't know where to put. And since we've moved in, we accumulated quite a lot of that stuff. Um, we've been here like over four years now, four and a half years. So it's about time we did something with it. We've cleared a lot of the stuff. There is still a few bits and bobs in here, so do excuse any mess. But I thought, before we crack on doing anything, I'll give you a little look around. Okay, so as you come in the door, this is kind of what you see. The radiator definitely worse for wear. Um, I've got bits and bobs I've been sorting through. This is the current wall situation. It's not what I wanted for the beauty room. Also, the ceiling is wallpapered put the light on because it's really dark today. Um, it's rainy. Um, it's hard to fit everything in. If I go zoom out, there we go. Um, this is a lot of dog stuff at the minute. This is furniture I've already bought for in here, but I think we're doing another Ikea trip soon. So if I come over this side, I'll show you a bit more around that bit. Plan, if all goes to well, I want a desk over here. Um, this will be kind of where I film. I'll have a little table here and then I'll just walk you over the side of the room. Over here will be probably my backdrop for where I film and I'm expecting maybe some pictures on the wall. I've got some drawers to go here, possibly going to get a taller set of drawers here and then over here which will probably be also maybe a film backdrop probably for when I'm trying outfits and things. Um, I've got like a Kallax unit from Ikea which is like the little square boxes um, and I just think it'll look really nice. I'm going to decorate it with various bits and bobs that I've got. The floor is coming out. It's this blue dotty pattern. That's going to be laminate. I've got that already. I haven't fully decided what I'm doing on the walls yet though. That is the only thing. But this wallpaper is getting stripped ASAP because I don't like this. And then this is just that <laughs> over there, painted over. Um, and like I said, that's going to have to come down the ceiling um, wallpaper. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. Um, oh, excuse me, I've got bits of puzzle on the back of the door as well. <laughs> but that's what the current state of things is. Um, so I'm gonna try and show you my process and progress as much as I can. And I'm looking forward to it, actually. Really looking forward to it. I can't wait till I can be able to use this as a fully functioning beauty room. Um, yeah, I haven't decided on the walls. Um, I saw some shiny paper in B&M the other day really pretty but then I had just settled on having just a kind of plain wallpapered and then painting the colours that I wanted on the walls but then I have just spotted some other wallpaper samples that I bought bought grabbed the previous time um decisions decisions anyway I'll let you know how I go Right, today I'm going to start doing some wallpaper stripping, so I'm getting rid of this stuff behind me. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take, if I get the whole room done today or not, but I'll film a little bit and show you a little bit of what I'm doing. So I'll speed through that. First, I guess I'll show you what I'm using. So I've got a wallpaper steamer, which is plugged in, just waiting to get warm. I've got some scrapers, some steps, and I'm going to make a start.
Um, I have stripped the entire room of wallpaper. I am absolutely knackered, <laughs> but there's no wallpaper on the walls anymore. Um, there is still wallpaper on the ceiling, which I'm hoping to deal with, um, I suppose. So yes, the ceiling has paper on, which isn't ideal, but none of the rest of them, none of the rest of the walls. Sorry, I've got my IKEA furniture against this wall now. Um, but I have removed all of it. So quite an accomplishing day. I look a state. I need a shower, um, but it's done. And I haven't even picked the wallpaper out yet that's going on. So after doing the ceiling, that will be the next job. After showing you all that, basically we had some issues with damping our house and had to redo the whole house. So this got put on the back burner and this is what the room ended up looking like before we need to start again. There's obviously a lot still to do. There's still the ceiling wallpaper. There's still obviously all of this mess because we had to move a lot of stuff around when we did the house. So these things as they are now. Chris and I are just heading off to B&M or B&Q or somewhere, <laughs> one of those. I'm going to try B&M because I think I saw some decent paint in there last time. But we're going looking for paint. Um, Chris has actually just popped in to take a parcel. Um, and we're going to go and have a little look at B&M for paint first. That's what I'm going to try first anyway because I... I um, I've had a look in there before. Um, I actually saw some wallpaper I wanted when I was like originally going to do this like two years ago. But I think now what I'm just going to do is paint the walls. And once it's all done, if I want an accent wall, then we can think about that in the future. Um, but yes, I'm just going to go pick up some paint. Hopefully just get this done. Um, I've got an idea of a colour in my head. So we'll see if they have such a thing. And then we can crack on doing some actual decorating. So let's head to shop for some paint. So thanks to gorgeous home decor. There are so many on trend items to suit any style, including our new Eden Life or Boho Soul Ranges, with everything from candles to vases, or lamps and mirrors. And with our Simply Home Range, you can make easy updates to transform your interior with items like our bootleg cushions for eight pounds each, or two for 12 pounds. Okay, so here's the current state of the room. It is more or less empty. Um, we have a sofa, which I'll probably just move to the middle and cover for now. Um, that might be going somewhere. There's a box of stuff that's from Chris's car. Um, but the ceiling's gonna be the first job, I think. I'm gonna paint that. And then it's gonna be a case of painting other bits and then putting the paper on the wall, painting the wall. Um, the radiator over here is a bit of a state, so I might need to do something with that. But this is currently the room, more or less empty, with bare walls, bare ceiling. Um, the carpet will be coming out, so I'm not worrying about the carpet just yet. And we will be getting different light. <laughs> but yeah, this is the bare walls. Look, I'm just drawing a little boat. In fact, I think there's another boat over here. Yeah. Whoever decorated before had a thing for butt. <laughs> Okay, so getting the last bits of paper and things that were left off the ceiling has proved a lot harder work than expected. And there's some really stubborn bits. So Chris has lent me his DeWalt stander and I'm now gonna sand the ceiling. Fun, this is taking hours. I thought the ceiling would be painted by now. <laughs> Such hard work. Okay. I'm giving it a break. This looks like a really dirty camera lens or something, but this is the dust in the air and I'm struggling. <laughs> so, might be calling it for today. <laughs> okay, now you've seen all that. Without further ado, let me go take you for a little look around the beauty room. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so it's very bright at the moment, so we'll hopefully get a better look as we go into the room. Let's start over here as we come in. There's Luna, come to say hi. So we have a lovely full-length mirror where I can do outfits, uh, pictures and things. Then I have my desk. 
Um, Chris is going to be doing this desk, not, no, sorry, not the desk, he's going to be doing up the computer for me as a birthday present so I can edit my videos and things in here because at the minute it's a little bit old. We've got this lovely pink wall which I believe was a colour called Ballerina Slippers. Um, I do love my little accents and things. I've gone for rose gold accents. Um, got lots of different pens and bits and bobs. Um, I do have, let me just show you, this is my diary. <laughs> it's a lovely big one. Um, in here I've got lovely pink accessories for the computer as well. I'm hoping to get pink speakers and then maybe um, do something with the screen at some point. But they're super cute. Over here, got an aerial photo. Well, picture, print. I've got this cute little lamp, which I actually got from Amazon. It is just a touch lamp. One, two settings, three settings, and off. And it does just charge. So that's really, really cute. Here you've got this lovely chair from B&M. The cushion was bought to me as a present from my nephew. Then a waste of money, I've got a lovely pink dog bed, but they both prefer the rug. <laughs> Jakey loves it in here because the sun kind of hits just right and he really likes the rug. Next we have my shelf display with the Kallax units from Ikea. Each of them have like nice things in, I'll show you around bit by bit. So up the top we've got a light up A sign, A for Ashley. I've got Pua from Moana here. He was a present. And then I've got my Christmas present from my sister, the pop vinyl of Rapunzel and Flynn, the lovely little boat scene. Then I have Pluto, who came from Disneyland Paris. Then I have this lovely print of Rapunzel, which came from Princess Ray Tattoo on Instagram. Um, she has her own site, I'll link it below. Then we'll go down into the shelves. We have a Minnie Mouse shelf here with my beautiful lounge fly. Then we have our Little Mermaid aerial themed shelf. So cute. Then my busiest shelf up here is my Tangled shelf. <laughs> so many things on there. So we've got the lovely lounge fly. I got this decoration from Asda at Christmas time. Pascal, he came from Disneyland Paris. We have the um, lovely Rapunzel and Flynn scene. Oh, and you can probably spot the Necklace and, e and earrings, necklace and ring, I actually got from Sheen. They were just a couple of pounds each. Then we have the pop violin. Hidden behind that at the minute is the pin, but eventually I'll hope to get a pin board and that will live on there. Then we have our Cinderella shelf. Although I'm aware this is Aurora, I don't have a Cinderella pop vinyl, but she's a nice little replacement at the minute. Then down here we have our Animal Kingdom themed shelf with my lovely lounge fly. We've got Doug, Moana and Pua on there and a Disney candle. Moving over we have Toothless's shelf. Oh he's looking a little dusty, sorry. I've got the pop vinyl and the popcorn bucket. It's our pop Toothless's. Then over here just some random bits and bobs. Probably end up getting a lounge fly to go in there at some point, let's be honest. Then over here we've got our Luna Lovegood shelf. There's a little spoiler for a video I've got coming up. Um, we've got a Sheen haul. Down here I've got a pair of shoes I got from Primark ages ago with the sole purpose of displaying them on a shelf like this in this room. Then at the minute I've just got a random bag and a gift from a friend. Next we have uh, my mini ears in a mini bag. In a mini bag. In a mini tub thing. And then I've got some books along here, some kind of photo albumy things and various skincare bits, some things I need to read. And then in the cupboards and drawers I've got various bits and bobs. I'll be honest at the minute, <laughs> this used to house my nail polishes. That's actually empty at the minute, I just need to find something to do. I've got this lovely orchid that I got from my mum for Christmas. And then again, if I'm being honest, this is where I've been storing my ring light at the moment, in that gap. And then here, we've got lots of storage. I suppose I'll try and do a little shot of the tops. So in here I've got various things. This is actually becoming my Try It Tuesday drawer. I've got things in here I want to try out with you guys. 
This drawer I think has got various bits and bobs for cameras and pictures. That's full of crafty things. Um, this one's full of nail things. This one, I think that's just full of random stuff for now. And then this one's got paperwork and things. And these are kind of my makeup drawers. Um, I mean, I'll quickly show you with a need of sorting really. This is my lipsticks drawer. And then I've got, this is like eyeshadow singles and bits and bobs. Eyeshadow palettes, again, it could do with being better organized. They're not all in there either. <laughs> this is like face things and uh, mascaras and whatnot. And then I think the last two are kind of unorganized things that I need to do stuff with. <laughs> so they're not too exciting. Um, this actually lifts up and it becomes a mirror on the top and then it's got like a little jewelry shelf. But at the minute, I haven't got enough prints to fill this wall how I want to. So I've got some here. These all came from Disney World last year when we went. This was from Topolino's Terrace when we went for breakfast. These two came from the art shop in Disney Springs. And then moving along from Sheen, this thing, I've actually got two of these and I'm not entirely sure what to do with them. So at the minute it's just draping down. <laughs> um, I've got some candles. This smells lovely by the way. This was full of lipsticks and I've been using them. Um, I've got my Tangled as stuff in a Morphe palette. My sister got me these brushes for Christmas and she actually got me the mug ages ago. Then we have a Tangled postcard framed and a, it's me Ashley, um, pegboard, which I haven't really done much with. And then there is a bit of a kind of gap there. I'm thinking of possibly putting like a little shoe rack. At the minute I've just got my uh, comfy hung on there. So I'll try and do you a little spin around the room. It's hard to get it all in, obviously. But yeah, so we have my shelves, a jig, the window's kind of a bit boring at the minute. The dogs broke the blind, so we need to try and get those fixed. Oh, I didn't show you this, look. Got a little hanging ornament, catches the sun, quite cute. So over here is the desk. Bits and bobs, there's more frames and things underneath for when I do eventually put them on this wall here. So I'm thinking my filming backgrounds will end up being, do apologise for the lighting here today, um, end up being possibly this and then probably a bit of this side as well. So, over we go. Just to give you a little better idea, no, it's a little bit darker now, but just using the 0.5 mod on my phone to kind of do a proper walk around so you can see kind of the entire room. Like I said, we really need some pictures on this wall, I just haven't got everything that I want yet. Okay, so now you've seen this elusive beauty room. Let me know what you think, guys. I would love a little bit of input. Anything you would do? What do you think of it? Have I gone for the nice colours? Do you think it's good? What should I do differently? Anything that needs adding? Yada, yada, yada. But um, how glad are you to have finally seen this video? <laughs> anyway, guys, drop me a comment. That'd be fab if you've enjoyed. If you like the room, do me a favour. Hit that like button. Give me a huge thumbs up. That'd be amazing. And if you haven't already, obviously subscribe because this is now going to be the backdrop for most of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again soon.